everybody what are we doing it's four o'clock <laughs> and the neighborhood be here in my house at that time of day oh man it's happy hour james it's happy hour it's it's happy. Time. welcome guys. welcome to in the neighborhood's happy hour this is our uh, inaugural happy hour show and uh we have the great russ broom the great jim button the great mandy stobo hanging out with us here in our neighborhood we have very special guests we're introduced but russ to help make this a happy hour you have brought yes. a very special guest with you well i brought uh, the person that makes me happy every hour oh, oh. <laughs> happy long weekend <laughs> well, this is my lovely wife Vari o'donnell and we got yes. married on the dave kelly show yes and we have a restaurant called moonlight and eli and uh it's champagne and and cheese fondue so, so we're making a champagne cocktail. Champagne so, and cheese fondue sounds so. so good. Oh, now let's be clear here. <laughs> Russ perfect, and Vari drove the entire city, dropping us off our own drink. So oh, Vari, yeah. tell us a bit about what are we drinking here? What is this? Well, we're drinking a French seventy-five. So I'll sort of I'll put it all together as right. we're continuing. Yeah. And uh, it's a champagne cocktail. So it's it's a cocktail that's actually made with champagne. So there's lemon juice in it, mm. and there is gin in it. Put, put lots of that in. It makes me um, feel better. Well, there actually is quite a lot in it. <laughs> okay, great. And uh, <laughs> there's so much in it. That's why the, that's where the name came from. So it's called a French 75 because there's a field gun that uh, is called a French 75. And the idea is that it packs such a punch that it's as much as a field gun, which is basically a cannon. Right. <laughs> so it's a, it's a cannon of a drink. It's a cannon, yeah. <laughs> we did boozy for a happy hour. This is uh, and now Russ. Normally, mm -hmm. in a game show, you're our judge. Uh, yep. How do you judge this drink? Give us a, your quick judgment and assessment here. Sir. Well, you know, I'm going to try it any second now. So what do we yeah, got? I... So in there is is simple syrup, which is just fifty fifty water and sugar melted. Yeah. Um, lemon juice and gin, and then we're topping it with champagne. Whoa! Come on. Okay. I, I'm yeah. I think it's very tasty. Cheers! Yeah. Happy, oh my God. happy Cheers, hour. Everyone. Cheers! Happy oh, happy hour. Goes, Dave. I think this drink might affect mine. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Mm. Uh, well, I'm. Oh, uh, that's really nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's really great. nice. Yeah. Okay, so for all the parents who are watching who have younger kids or kids at all, and you're thinking, I want to have a drink during this happy hour and hang out with us. Maybe you want something for your kids to do. So we wanted to give Mandy a break, except maybe do just a little coloring for us. Mandy, do you have something that we can occupy the kids with while the dads and moms and, and neighbors are drinking? I really do. I really want to encourage uh, dreaming, <laughs> dreaming about being in the sky, dreaming yeah. about, um, you know, the future when we will be riding things <laughs> like this again. Oh, oh, so West Plane. <laughs> Look at you. All, all you kids. <laughs> Thank you, WestJet. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> well, does that ever lead into our show? Does it? <laughs> Man, you are good. That's why I'm here, Dave. <laughs> you know, I like the tail gun, the tail on that plane. It's like Shazam. It's like a Shazam plane. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. look, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is our game show, and this is a little different this time because we're splitting up the team. Mandy and Jim are not together this time. You guys, how are you feel about that? Yeah. Um, great. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm like, kidding. I, 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 there's some I, uh, truth serum in this, apparently. 
<laughs> no, I'm a I'm a big big fan of my teammate, and I'm also a big fan of Jimmy's teammate. So there's no going wrong here. <laughs> I think we're just lucky to be with anyone. <laughs> Jim, that was your take on it. Yeah, Jim? Yeah, I love my new teammate, like, lots. <laughs> I don't think I've ever worked with anybody more creative. <laughs> but I like working with you too, Manny, because I think you're swell. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Freddie. Uh, so you. our first guest. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who do we want to bring on first? Let's bring on uh, Mandy, ladies first, her teammate, and... We're talking WestJet. WestJet has been a great sponsor and friend of, of uh, Dave Kelly Live and a partner of ours. And we wanted to... Is that Richard? Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to call him and then we're going to bring him in here. And uh, and then we're going to find out who uh, Jim's creative <laughs> teammate, roommate, something <laughs> Oh, there we go. Look at this. Oh, Richard Bartram. How are you, my friend? I'm well, how are you doing, Dave? Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, hi, buddy. Happy hour. That's you. It's happy hour. Wait. I knew Wait. I something. He's wearing yeah. pants. That was just proof that he's wearing pants with his tie. <laughs> yes, <I am>. <laughs> <laughs> Early proof. We had oh. a pair. We're hoping for shorts with the tie. Very good. Uh, so, uh, uh, Richard, we're thrilled. I don't know if you got to see this, but Mandy's uh, art project for the day, uh, Mandy, other than that beautiful uh, Richard Bartram. I'll go back. Uh, yeah. If you want, look that. at this. Okay, look. This is our coloring page. We do a coloring book moment every show, and this is your that. yeah. So this is today's <laughs> yep, is uh, yep. for all the kids that want to draw a WestJet plane. Now, um, Richard, really quickly, I know that WestJet, like every airline, is going through. Uh, first of all, people flying or can't do that. What's it been from your perspective? Yeah, I mean, this was. Uh, I mean, we obviously saw it coming as you see this move from uh, from China and then into other parts of Asia, over into Europe, and then of course hitting hitting Canada and. Uh, recognize everybody's been affected by this but uh, from a WestJet perspective in, in Calgary's backyard you know we have 181 planes in the fleet there are now roughly 150 of them parked so if you're driving up along the airport you'll see just nose to tail one after the other planes just parked and parked mm -hmm. on some uh, active runways where there should be some of the smaller aircraft taking off and landing but they're just parked nose to tail so we only got a little bit more than 30 aircraft flying right now. How uh, and and I know that there's there's had to be uh, stuff with staff and everything. How has the spirit been? I mean, it's tricky. Times yeah, it's, for it's everybody. interesting, right? You, you, what I find is you kind of end up with two spirits because you know we're looking at uh, almost ten thousand of the fourteen thousand West Jetters are on uh, are on leave, um, and so th the attitude of a lot of those people on leave, you know, saying because uh, we had a, a bit of a unique way of approaching it. We asked for volunteers and said, before we get to some of the more difficult decisions, is there anybody willing to take take a, uh, take a pause? And the number of people that said, I will uh, stand down so the airline can stand up is yeah. is remarkable. And wow. so that's, and so the, you know, so I, I commend those people and that's got to be incredibly uh, difficult. And then those that are still here. So we have uh, flight attendants and customer service agents and pilots and aircraft maintenance engineers still working to keep these 30 some old aircraft going and now they are in as you see them at the airport airport they'll be wearing the gowns the masks the face shields the gloves um we've introduced seat distancing on the aircraft so that there is nobody beside you in that middle seat anymore um so you know when the, when we hit uh, two-thirds full we're actually full because we're not selling that that middle okay. seat so that we can give people some social distancing while we work our way through this so an awful lot of work going on and then at the same time just some great stories of repatriation where we've done rescue flying down into south america we have picked up iv fluid from dublin ireland and flown it to atlanta georgia and so a lot a lot of cargo work getting actual uh, so working with canadian blood services as well to get blood products uh, back and forth across the country so the work that those men and women are doing has been absolutely uh, absolutely terrific and i tip my uh, hat or i raise my glass actually to well, i think we all should yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's cheers so yeah, yeah you know what yeah. to all those people whether you're standing up or standing down cheers to them all mm -hmm. yeah uh well in normal certain situations i know you and jim button are friends mm -hmm. but you are mortal enemies today just so we're clear on this <laughs> he's clean shaven he looks ready to fight i wouldn't say him on in an alley to be honest <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> made on my face just to be ready for <laughs> <laughs> I am about to bring on guest number two, who is going to be Jim's. Uh, Jim, do you want to talk a little bit about uh, Michael while we bring Michael on the show? Michael is a uh, Michael is one of, uh, if not the top uh, musician coming out of this lovely city of Calgary. Um, he's been in hibernation for quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> the 
building <laughs> building the world's best beard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he and I um, uh, share uh, a, a child with the name Jack. Ah, interesting. My dog is named Jack, and my son is named Jack. So. And they're both furry, so that's they're nice, both right? Furry. <laughs> now, uh, Richard, can you tell us the story uh, you told me just a, a couple hours ago about Michael Bernard Fitzgerald and one of the folks who works with you? Yeah, so that well, and I and I do love the the, uh, the the beard. If you did a handstand, that would be a handsome head of hair, and he just to wear that on his on his chin. Wow, you just turn your eyes uh, upside I miss down. You. But I but I did a, I I laughed because uh, one of the women on our on our and I won't embarrass her by saying her name, but one of the women on our social media team. Um, she asked me when because she saw that you guys had posted that we would be working together this afternoon and we'd have some fun on the Friday game show of the long weekend. But she said, "Are you going to get to meet Michael?" And, <laughs> I said, in COVID world, I don't think so. So I think this is about as close as I'm going to get to uh, shaking hands or fist bumping or rubbing elbows with him. But Michael, nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. How are you? Hey, Ma Michael, how is everything going? And congrats on the new uh, My My River, a beautiful single. Our it's river. out today. Our, it's so good. Our River, sorry. And I've been listening to it, and I want to mm -hmm. get cedars. I want to live on a farm. I, everything in that song is what I want. <laughs> yeah. Also. <laughs> how are yeah. you my friend i'm good i'm good i'm good and uh and thank you i uh i'm excited this song's out today yeah i uh amazing i it's a beautiful tune and it did i was like i gotta get i gotta get on a farm i gotta and i was driving over to richard's house because we were dropping off some boxes now to help explain what's dropped off you guys get special packages and i'm gonna call in a very special guest now who if she's around she was still doing delivery so i don't know if she'll be able to talk if she's not around to pick up the call that's not a problem because i know but uh this is do you have, both have your boxes yep do you have your packages they they'll look a little bit, uh, they'll look a little bit like this here yeah that's very good very good and we'll see if she if she's able to join great but she was very busy today and i'm gonna maybe tell the story and if she ends up connecting great and if it doesn't i'll tell the story so oh i did a sneak peek in my box oh did you i just sneak <laughs> He said, oh. "Don't do that." And now, oh. we're, now we're, oh, uh, Julie. Oh, hey, Julie. You guys are working already. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. You look like you're on the lamb. <laughs> he looks like he's looking like lamb. Riding a lamb or running my, the lawn. My niece is yeah. here with her kids, and so uh, I was. I went to say hi. Is it okay. four already? Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, Can you tell us? Uh, before they haven't opened their boxes yet, can you tell okay. these two gentlemen, Michael and Richard, what you made for them? Michael and Richard, I made special uh, WestJet snack pack trashy cookies <laughs> using the pretzels. And I believe they're the first class um, snack packs that have all <laughs> They are now. <laughs> I would like you to put your seat in the upright position <laughs> and return your tray. Oh, sorry. Return your tray table to the upright position. It's been like two months since they've been in a fight. So they've got the caramel corn, the pretzels, the salt. So can I open it? And oh, yeah. chocolate. In the fancy Mandy, I did not make it all the way. That's okay. Sorry, guys. Yes. <laughs> so Everyone cute. Out. Okay, that's so, outstanding. Oh. Uh, and they're the best. Because we no. got so many of these snack packs and pretzels to use in our lunches. Um, so we, we super appreciate that. Well, thank Julie, you. can well, you thank explain? You you... And, it was, and it was fun for us to be able to, you know, we're sitting on, uh, it's funny to talk about pretzels in terms of pallets, but when you have pallets of pretzels that aren't going to be going anywhere for a while, we're glad that they could be put to good use. So Julie, thank yeah. you for everything you've yeah. been doing to feed kids in the city. That's uh, that's amazing. And I will we'll do it again, but cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, I need a drink. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. I, need a cheer. I, got, I got a watering can. I'll just <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love it. <laughs> All right. Time uh, management skills are terrible. <laughs> we got to get a game started. Julie, uh, and I know you delivered not only to uh, Richard and Michael, but to a lot of uh, kids who could use great things like this made from WestJet uh, gift packs. So thank you very much, Julie. You're so Uncycled. Great. Uncycled WestJet snack packs. <laughs> That's it. They are. All right. I appreciate you guys, and I miss I miss 
WestJet. And uh, yeah, I appreciate thank you, Julie. Snack, so thank you. And I, I was trying to come up with like a river, you know, connection with the cookies and like, I wish I was floating down the river. Well, it's a song, right? <laughs> I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> I'm not good with it. words, okay? Oh, <laughs> awesome. I just use them on the radio and then, you know, write them. But <laughs> people pay me money sometimes. <laughs> you are you. awesome. Thank you, Julie. Well, you guys, enjoy your snacks. Bye, Bye. Thank, you. Thank, you, Thank you, Julie. Julie. Have a Cheers. Good day. Thank you. Bye. Uh, I should have checked this with Rob before the show started, but Rob, do you want to run the actual game show video before Michael and Richard and the teams get going? All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the start of our In the Neighborhood game show. Hey. Judges, are you ready? We got two drunk judges up there, so that's good. You're welcome. The first game. (laughs) Totally. First, I believe we need to get our team names. Oh, Um, oh, let me show you this. We have art. House of Games. Oh, look at this. (laughs) It's Richard and Mandy versus Michael and Jim. Richard and Mandy, what is your team name? You want to take Mandy it? Take you it. tell them. I love it. It's oh, yours. Uh, our our team name is Team Best Bet. Get Best it. Bet on our team. It also Get rhymes, it. It rhymes with something else that flies. <laughs> a shameless it's Team Best Bet. Plug. Like you can bet on us to be yeah, the best. Right. Best Bet. Team yeah, Best, best bet. bet. WestJet. Okay. Team best bet. Fair enough. I love it. Uh, you're selling, uh, there's a jingle Jim. right there. It's your Best Bet. <laughs> Jim, and, Jim and Michael, you want to take over? Michael, so what's your team? Some music Maybe Michael, you uh, you say, "Will I uh, will I show our part of our team uniform?" Okay, sounds good. Uh, so Jim and I are the Calgary Blue Sox. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Nice, <laughs> nice work, Jim. You were you were supposed to wear pants. Man, that's for sure. <laughs> Michael, I didn't have time to put the pants on. I already got the socks. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, for our first game, we are going to play Trash or Treasure. And we're going to start this uh, with uh, Richard and Mandy's team. Richard has been assigned to come up with two objects, one of which this. has personal value, one of which he's going to lie and pretend has personal value. Jim and Michael, your job is to guess which one is which. Richard, are you ready? I am ready. Thank you, Dave. Take it away. Okay, so the first one I'm actually wearing, um, and it's funny because I haven't ironed a shirt in more than two months. Um, so uh, I had to actually go to the office for a bit today, so I decided I'm going to iron a shirt. And um, so the first one here is actually this tie, which I just hope you can catch in the light. And it's a it's a treasure Aww. for me. Um, so it's uh, Tommy Nutter is is the is the uh, f- uh, designer in the UK, um, and this tie was actually owned by Elton John. And so this is so. He has owned this tie, wore this tie, um, and he was selling in London. Um, this goes back into the 90s. It's actually come back into style. Um, but he was um, <laughs> selling stuff for part of his um, AIDS foundation and raising money for all the clothes that he had. And you could walk into a pop-up shop and um, and just buy um, the uh, the stuff right there. And the money would go to a good cause. All right. That's number okay. one. What's that's number one. Okay. Right. So the second one is, I just want to be careful with it because it's delicate, is um, it's a ship in a bottle. And so, and you can see there, I'll kind of just give you the sense that it actually is in the bottle and then do the mm-hmm. 3D house of <laughs> ships. Um, but it's a ship in a bottle that I built with, with my dad. And so my dad was a big hobbyist. Um, when I was a kid growing up, we had um, a model train set in the basement. So I had that big four by eight and then, you know, painting the mountains to look gray and all that stuff and the little roads with the cars. And then he switched his attention to say he wanted to try and build a, a ship in a bottle. And so the, the common misconception is <laughs> you build it in the bottle. But no, it's actually <laughs> so what you actually do is you build it out. And then there are hinges on the masts so that when you slide it in and then get it glued into the 
the, the, the sea interior, um, then you have strings that pull the masts back up into place. And that's what makes the ship in the, in the bottom. All right. Our uh, team best bet. Wow. <laughs> Rhymes wow. with. I got to say, team best bet is that's pretty good. He's yeah. a pretty good. Um, yeah. He's um, a. Can we ask any? Okay. Can we ask any questions? Yeah, fire no one, Michael. One. You can't ask questions. You just got to. No, that's not okay. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I should no ask the judge. I think okay, no questions. I judge no, there's no questions, you. Michael. I'm sorry. There's no questions. There's no questions. <laughs> huh? No, absolutely questions. not. <laughs> the judge has 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 had it up his like, <laughs> Can I see the boat again. This is so yeah, good, please. seeing all my best It looks like a boat in a bottle. <laughs> all right, because yeah. right, last time the person showed me something that actually said coaster right on it, so I'm looking for <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> but if you look at the bottom where it says Costco. Um... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see the label on the back of your tie? Yeah. Oh, seriously, you guys, how what long the, is this going to take? No, no, no. <laughs> Okay. Sorry. Uh, Tommy oh. Nutter. There you go. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Tommy Nutter. <laughs> you were... Michael, can you Google Tommy Nutter for me? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. You would like You too. Okay, Michael, how are you feeling? I, I mean, I would. I want to go with. <laughs> I want to say that the tie is real. Tie is real, eh? Do you think Mike? Do you think he has the patience to put a boat into a bottle? <laughs> I, I, just, I feel like the boat's too. I feel like the boat's too classic. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I, I, let's go with the tie. I'm with you, Michael. You're a smart guy. I'll follow your intuition. All right, Richard. So the, the tie is the treasure. Is that is that what Michael is saying? Yeah. 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 Trash. yeah. We don't mean the tie is trash per se. <laughs> okay, now I'm confused. No, no, no. Sorry, wait, Jim. Wait, wait. No, no, no. You guys Sorry. are saying tie is true. The tie is the, the truth. The tie is right? true. Is that what you're saying? Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. 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 Thank. You. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And and the the tie is true. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> well done, Jim. There we go. Well done. Well done. Amazing. Well done. Uh, Good work. The funny thing is, if you knew my father. To have the patience to do something like that, <laughs> I would watch that television show all day long. Right. That is awesome. All right. Well, well done, done. Okay. Well done, you guys. <sighs> all right. Now it's your turn to be on the defensive while Michael right. Bernard Fitzgerald, whose new song, Our River, out today, has a couple of truths or a lie and a truth. Take it away. Okay. Come on, Mikey. Can I get a. <laughs> so I don't have much. Uh, I don't know. I don't have many treasures. But um, but, but you've got goes. two. I got. Uh, can I flip my camera around here or what? Jeez. Yeah. I think I can. There you go. Yeah, I can. Okay, yeah. there we go. Okay, so. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's my trash and my treasure. All right. Uh, there's one. Yeah. There's the other. Okay. <laughs> Okay. That's laundry. Some people okay. call that laundry. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, hey guys, don't be rude. Um, <laughs> okay, so on the right, these yeah. are a pair of pajama pants <laughs> that my mom gave me eight yeah. years ago. Um, I was suffering from a chronic sleep deprivation mm -hmm. and so uh my mom had seen these and they looked like a ruse but she ordered them off the internet and basically they're lined with this like aluminum almost like a wicking fabric <laughs> that you get on like a lululemon <laughs> product and basically yes. it's, it wicks away stressful thoughts <laughs> come on don't laugh Sorry. I don't, like, I'm, I'm showing you my treasures here <laughs> And it wicks away uh, stressful thoughts, which then would turn into stressful dreams. Mm -hmm. And so I've worn them most weekdays since. <laughs> okay. That's... Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. Very good. So that's on the right. <laughs> sure. All right. A treasure in my mind. On the left. <laughs> yes. On, sorry, it took me a minute to find with my pointing. On the left. Why does my finger look like that, by the way? <laughs> You my finger looks like a bit of a like a like a Cheetos. Uh, okay, so on the left, I'm glad it's your finger, Michael. So I got distracted. <laughs> on the left is what would look like just a piece of plain crumpled up on the floor fabric. <laughs> but, but what it really is is a piece <laughs> of red broadcloth, and when combined with other pieces of broadcloth it completes a set of fabrics that one could take into a ceremony and i did take it to a ceremony and it was a four day four night life-changing experience Whoa. Whoa. also <laughs> Took away my stressful thoughts. Uh, that one. You got a lot of stress relieving clothes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, before, before you guys make a guess, I just want to remind you of the score. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Jim. Yeah. Oh, put it away. Put it away. Oh, man. This is tough, but uh, I hope. <laughs> so I love how. Michael didn't yeah. even look like he wanted to be in the same room with those things. Like, he just didn't <laughs> get anywhere close to either one of those. No, we don't get to get a good look, for sure. He doesn't want oh. to use stress vibes off him yet, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm just over here eating, eating cookies, just keeping it chill. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mandy, uh, you, Mandy, let's talk it through. What do you think? I don't know. This is tough because the first one with the aluminum wick. What, what did you say? Wicking. Aluminum the, stress the wicking. wicking. Yeah. It's so, stress wicking. It's nighttime like, love, stress wicking. Like Mike, Mike and I have been together for what? Like 12, 15 years? A long time. And I love the fact that he used the word wicking. <laughs> so that's why I love that one. The other one, I do know that Michael has been exploring uh, all of these spiritual and incredible journeys. So I think we were trying to hang out that week that you went on that retreat. So I don't know. I'm stuffed, Richard. I'm stuffed. Well, and he said he, his mom ordered it from the internet eight years ago. Could you even do that eight years ago? It's a, Barely. Uh, yeah, like on your CompuServe account with your Friendster account? <laughs> AOL.com. Like, <laughs> send it. Judge, yeah. judge, Richard. I don't want to hear anything from the judge on this, okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Are you thinking? Two is real? Two is the treasure? Uh, what are you thinking? You well, I, I, I like what you're, th I mean, you, you, you knew that, I mean, I loved how it was one could use it as broadcloth or <laughs> I like how it's not necessarily, and then at the last second it was, oh, and by the way, I did a four day, four night ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> Even though one could do this. So it, there's a little bit of, oh yeah, maybe I should have led with this as opposed to saying one could use it. Interesting. <laughs> so this kind of messed me up. Actually, oh, this is so it. tough. But then the first yeah. one is. If it's like a Lululemon aluminum stress wicking, I got to think we've heard of that before. Um, <laughs> that would show up in an Instagram feed. At some well, are you, so I'm kind of with you, Mandy. Right. Number two is, Rich, are, you okay. treasure? are you watching like, uh, like yeah. that super late to shopping channel programming? Like, did, Would you see that typically or no? Like a, I, I don't know. Three in the morning. Morning. So I, I, Mandy, I'm going to trust your, your instinct and say. I don't know. This is a tough one. Like, and I know your mom, Chris, is amazing. Does she do that? Does she sit up at night? I can't see her doing that. Does Doug? Oh my gosh. I I would say too. I think so. Let's go. With I do our want job. the judge okay. to note. I do want the judge to note that you saw this this close, uh, and yes. yet uh, yeah. Michael wouldn't even touch either one of this them. <laughs> can, That's we a good see, point. can we see your wicking product and your broad? No, product? no. Just I'm make a choice, Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're saying two. Two's the treasure. Two, two is real. Best two is the treasure. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Woo. Well, at Woo. this rate, uh, so this I'm game sweating. show is going to go through the entire long weekend, which is good. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. And we're uh, playing for WestJet tickets, so I get it. It's a... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Happy they fly on Monday. I'm sorry, I meant pretzels. We're playing for pretzels. <laughs> pretzels. They're, well, they're playing for the middle seats in WestJet. That's what we got, guys. Okay, uh, Jim Button, yes, while I set up this next question, can you please uh, show uh, your fridge? Do not open it, but we want to see your fridge. Richard and Mandy... Uh, you need to come up with before when we're going to look at the door of Jim's fridge and you are going to tell us three items that exist on the top shelf of Jim's fridge. So that's a fridge. Do not open it yet. Uh, you guys in, in a short amount of time, like within seven hours, could you come up with three (laughs) items that you think are on the top shelf of Jim's fridge? Are you, can I have a question first before we? No, nope. yeah, I have a question as well. Please go. Uh, are you asking me the same question? No. Later. Okay. So I can reveal what's on the top of my fridge. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't, I, oh, and can it, it be category or do you want the specific? I want like, you can't say food. <laughs> okay. There's, or <laughs> So just for the record, like, my shelves kind of go, like, like a staircase, okay? So yeah. it's only the top, top one, right? Sure. You want to do it that way, Jim, and make it hard? Yeah, no, let's say both top shelves. Both top shelves is All right. fine. All right. Okay, well, item did one. Watch the episode of Find the Booze, so I've seen inside Jim's fridge already. And, and you also yeah. have to know that, you also have to know that Spud, clue, maybe no clue, Spud just did a delivery, so it's going to be packed. Yeah. Okay. All right, okay. which is good for you guys. Okay, uh, give us one item and then two item and then three item. Okay. Okay. So, um, you go, Richard, you go. So I was going to say, um, Jim strikes me as a pickle kind of guy. Yeah, I was going right. to say that too, is number so one. Pickles yeah. would have to be up there. Yeah. Okay, pickles. Another one? Yeah. And then a Maybe condiment a, of some sort. Like a Maybe. hot mustard or a horseradish? Yeah, I like that. Hot mustard or horseradish. <laughs> which one, guys? Yeah, which one? Guy? Hot mustard or horseradish? This is not in the door. This is on the shelf inside the fridge. Oh, top shelf versus yeah, the door. top okay. shelf. Yeah. I think pickles. Uh, maybe some, em- like a empty can of tomato sauce or half full. Okay, yeah, like salsa, 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 tomato salsa, salsa yep. or something. Okay. Hey, why don't you name everything? <laughs> and, okay. then, and then mayonnaise is usually a bigger than a smaller. good one. All right, there we we gave you three answers. Okay, very so just for clarity, what are you three best answers? Bet. Mayonnaise, I have pickles, pickles, okay, and tomato sauce. Or salsa. Jim, <laughs> open the door. Let's see. Let's see. Open the door. What's on the shelf, Jim? Shelf here. Do you have pickles, tomato sauce, or mayonnaise? Okay. Well, by mayonnaise, let me try and see where. Normally my mayonnaise. Yeah, right up there. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's not. That's egg white. The... Some jam. Egg white. Oh jam. How much jam do you go through? Uh, <laughs> blueberries. Oh my god. Uh, red pepper, half, half, half cut. Jimmy Hoffa. Right. Like I am after the drink. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which could be something. Tomato sauce. Tomato Yay. sauce. Do they say uh-huh. sauce or salsa? Yes. Okay, that's one. Okay. Yeah. One point. <laughs> peanut butter, more jam, apple sauce, tahini. Um, Wait, you, you just, put your peanut butter in the We don't need the whole thing, Jim. <laughs> Who puts your <laughs> peanut butter in the fridge? Yeah, that's uh, weird. Uh, yeah. No, Do you have pickles or mayonnaise, Jim? <laughs> oh, pickles or mayonnaise? No. Pickles go Okay, good. Don't show the door, oh. Jim, because that's what we were guessing on Mandy's. Don't show oh. the door. Oh, no. So that's... We, can't, we can't go in my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Sorry, different game. All right. Yeah, different game. So out of out of a possible three points, I believe they got one for the tomato yeah. sauce. Yeah. Now, uh, Mandy, could you please uh, show us your fridge? Okay, this Michael, is going to take me one sec. All right, Michael and uh, Jim, yeah. you guys have to tell three items in her door, in the door of her fridge. Door. Door. Uh, okay. What are three items you think are going to be in the door of the world-famous, internationally renowned Mandy Stobo's <laughs> fridge? Yeah. Okay, okay, here we go. Uh, go, go ahead, ahead Jim. In the studio, so you guys have to help me get into the kitchen. Happy butter, right? You think butter? butter? Yeah, I think butter could be in the door. Okay, butter's one. 
Another I one? Think ketchup could be in the door. Ketchup Two little kids. Yep. Yeah. Having fun yeah. with ketchup. Maybe milk of some kind. A butter ketchup and milk then. Let's do that. Can I right? do I turn this around? How do I turn this around on you my computer? Care. Okay, so what did you pick? Butter, ketchup, milk. In your in door. The fridge. Each worth a point, yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. Just trying to figure out how to cheat. Mm. Okay, uh, no. We've got, we got chicken stock, um, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Some barbecue sauce. Do you yeah, just need yeah. one, one of the doors? Butter, ketchup, oh. milk. Either door. Both Either doors, door. Mandy. Oh, Both come doors. On. Yeah. You got both see. shelves both of doors. Jimmy's fridge. Sorry. Judges are free. Right. Yeah. Both doors. We yeah. got Sorry. butter. You're right, Trash. Okay, butter. butter. We got milk. Yeah, ketchup. Where's your oh, ketchup? No. Ketchup is right in the fridge. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <the fridge. laughs> so, uh, wow. Larry and judges, uh, uh, Russ, so there's two points out of a two possible three there. for yeah. Michael's team. Good work. Team. Two out of three, yeah. Uh, and one Good point job. for the other. Okay. It's our final game, folks. This is our last game. And uh, this is going to be a little... Uh, I'm going to list one, two, three, four, five, six items. This is a scavenger hunt. You are oh all going to race through your house, but here's what's going to make it interesting. When I say to, when I give the list of six, you guys can talk to each other. But of course it's going to be a zoo because you're all going to be trying to talk at the same time. The first team to get four of any four of these six items to the cameras, like you can do your each do two, wins. You ready for this? Four. Of are you ready for the list? Okay, you ready? Four of these like six. Oh my Richard, God. Richard, are you listening carefully? Yep, if you I'm want ready. to write these down, the, you can't move yet. Item one a screwdriver. Two, a bottle of liqueur. So it can't be regular wine, it's got to be like some weird schnapps. Something with a cow on it, a toque, a guitar, or a book with the in the title. I'm going to review this. A screwdriver, bottle of liqueur, something with a cow on it, a toque, guitar, and a book with the in the title. I'm going to give you a minute to talk, and then the first team to come back with four of those items and show it to the camera wins. Go ahead and talk. Jim, get the screwdriver and the cow thing. I got the screwdriver and the cow thing. I got the guitar already. I got the guitar. Guitar, guitar, guitar. Go, go, go. Guitar, mezcal. I've got them all. I've got them all. I've got the screwdriver. Toque. I got the toque. I got it. I got a cow. Guitar. I got a cow. Three. I got a cow. Whoa. And Mandy's got a cow. He's got five. There. Whoa! Rusty, I don't know how we're gonna judge. This is serious. Where's Mandy? Mandy's gone away. Jim, what have you got? What kind of a cow? And a juke. I had a toque. Here's all the four. <laughs> and a cookie. <laughs> I had some... <laughs> I, I, I don't quite know how to judge this one, Russ. I'll be honest I don't, with you. Have you seen a cow item from uh, Jim and Michael? Yeah, I, I don't think my Mandy, po my Mandy painting. Yeah, Your Mandy painting. Okay, there I, we go. Oh, I think I don't think that's a cow, Michael. I think that's a. It's a, a bison, deer. and it came from the bison. bison. It's, it's a bison. Forget about it. It's a bison. <laughs> <laughs> a bison is not a cow. What do you think? Oh, brush. Oh my gosh. Uh, I, feel like, I feel like we. I think Jim and I got set up. To be honest. <laughs> And we have all we have all six though. So yeah, we do. Have, wait, who doesn't have all six? <laughs> they we have, have all five. six, don't we? Okay, a, a uh, book with the. In the yeah, time. we do. My yeah, we have all six. You guys have. Uh, you guys I had them book? like beside you. You didn't even have to move. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I like, that's why you go to rehearsal. No, you didn't. Book? Move, you you Which didn't book move. has the? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, Roger has. Oh, he had that right up there. Oh, it's a good book too. Oh, god. What? No, there's something went wrong here. Something <laughs> went wrong. Oh, if, oh my God! If, if no one tells if no one tells me the truth, I'm gonna log out. <laughs> Where'd your camera go? <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, I, gotta, I gotta say I'm having trouble because yeah, the camera kind of 
I had the uh, the little yield sign or whatever on there, and I couldn't actually t- see a couple of the items. So, um, I not what to say. Well, you know what we could do, Russ? You could just pick the team you like more. <laughs> well, I, oh, I don't. <laughs> I'm boy. I, I just or set one item. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, uh, like, why, don't you, Dave, why don't you pick? Why don't you pick another item? And it's sudden death. Tiebreaker. Oh, oh okay. sudden death. Sudden death. Car keys, car keys. We got sudden right death. There. Now, are you both? Okay, okay, I've got an extra one now. Do something random, burst. like a do something random, like a baseball. <laughs> you have a baseball, <laughs> like a right baseball there? you have off camera. <laughs> no, I'm Jim and I the pretzels. Jim and I the blue okay. socks. Do something random. Come on, like a ready or like a the first person massage ball. <laughs> what? First person that, what the? No. Just do it, Dave. Dave, just do I'm it. Burst. <laughs> yeah. First Dave person glasses. to come back. I'm, I'm trying to do. <laughs> How about vacuum attachments? Come back with three or more vacuum attachments. What do Michael's that? just playing I Spy with my little eye. <laughs> All right. Okay, Dave. First person to come back with something yellow. Go. Oh. oh my god, yeah. Uh, Another broadcloth. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize you were going to textiles. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think Crocker's cookbook for boys and girls. <laughs> I think Richard Bartram nailed that one. <laughs> yeah. Which means uh, that therefore. It's a tie. Oh, does it? that make it. Yeah, I think it comes out as a tie. <laughs> yeah. It does. Because. <laughs> Because there were two uh, give but- them a tie. Buttermilk uh, and tomato sauce created a tie. We're- Welcome back, Jim. Nice to have you. <laughs> I think everyone's a winner, really. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That's got it. All right. Oh, well, look at uh, <laughs> if that isn't a message for all of us, folks, that on our happy hour show. <laughs> We're all winners, and we're all just trying to get through this as best we can, whether we keep our ketchup in the door or on the shelf. Am I right? Thanks, Dan. Oh, uh, that is so I, – I, I think, Russ, I think we do have to say it's a tie, don't we? I think so, too, Otherwise, unless yeah. we want to judge the state of their fridges, but um, I don't know if I want to get into that. Oh, Vari, what did you think of the fridges? Well, that's just being judgmental. That's not just <laughs> – <laughs> is there a difference? I don't know. Oh. Good to have another drink. Mine was clean. Yeah. It was okay. Yeah, we're one drink away from being judgy. Sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, that makes me laugh. Did what? Great. Are... I thought yeah. the stories were terrific, and yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Broadcloth. One's a pretty good liar. Yeah. So that's yeah. nice. But I can't trust any that's of you guys. <laughs> I uh, I'm just gonna go outside and get some aluminum shavings and put them in my clothing. Just to... <laughs> yeah. They'll wick it all away. Uh, wick. Good work, Michael. I love the word wicking. <laughs> well, look at if you're looking for uh, a great drink or for that anything great, uh, Moonlight and Ellie. Thank you so much, Vari, for being part of our show and for judging everybody quietly in the back. Quietly. Really <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go. Uh, uh, and I really want to send a real special shout out. Honestly, Julie Van Rosendahl made these cookies and so was, great. there are a bunch They're of terrific. kids. They're terrific. Aren't so they good? Great. And there's a bunch of kids in the city who are eating these cookies tonight and have no idea that the ingredients are WestJet's gift packs that they use in the planes that are out there for, for kids that could use it. So That's thanks fantastic. for donating all those, Richard and, and Julie. Thanks so much for making that. And what a great team. What a great neighborhood. I think, uh, do you guys feel like dancing? What do we want to do here? I think it's dancing. Yeah. This is so normally in a happy hour after you have a couple of drinks. It's when you think, man, I'm a good dancer. <laughs> I see Michael's song. Michael, Our yeah. River. Look it up. It's so good. It's very good. Song. And we're all going to watch some series. Okay, let's jump around, everybody. Let's do some dancing. Uh, Uh, Have a great long weekend, everybody. I love you all. You're such good people.
And uh, if you're feeling this, this is pretty special. And uh, to give people, you know, just to have some 